Normal eyelid movement is required for proper lubrication of the eye as well as protection from airborne irritants. However, when the eyelid does not fully open, it can not only obstruct vision, but creates a cosmetic facial asymmetry. A droopy eyelid or ptosis can be congenital or acquired through injury, disease, or nerve damage. Although congenital ptosis may be apparent at birth, it can also present later within the first few years of life. The levator aponeurosis, which attaches the tarsal plate to the levator muscle, is the anatomic structure that allows for proper eyelid opening. In congenital ptosis, the levator muscle undergoes fibrous and fatty change, diminishing its ability to contract and relax, resulting in ptosis. Treatment of ptosis requires shortening the levator aponeurosis so that the tarsal plate is brought closer to the muscle. First, a small amount of skin is excised. Next, the underlying muscle is incised, exposing the orbital septum. The orbital septum is incised until orbital fat is seen. The orbital fat is displaced superiorly, which exposes the underlying levator aponeurosis and muscle. The levator aponeurosis is detached from the tarsal plate and freed from the underlying Mueller's muscle. A suture is placed between the tarsal plate and near the levator muscle. When the suture is cinched down, the tarsal plate is brought much closer to the levator muscle, which corrects the ptosis. Redundant levator aponeurosis tissue is removed. Other sutures may be placed at this time. After the fat is placed back in normal position, the skin is closed.